morning students in this video we will learn about the concept of verbs what are verbs verbs are the words which describe an action action could be eat sleep dance play sing etc so verbs are action words verbs are action words what do we call what are verbs verbs are action words can you give me few more examples we just discussed few examples like eat dance sleep write go etc all right so these are these action words are called main verb these action words are called main verb so is there any other kind or any other form of words yes there are main verbs and then there are helping verbs there are main verbs and then there are helping verbs now what are helping verbs helping verbs are used before the main verb helping verbs are used before the main verbs and by the name itself we can see that helping verbs are used to help the main verb so helping verbs example is is am are is am and are now let's get back to the three forms of verb the three forms of verb we have been doing in our previous class let's take the word go today's word is verb is go so what are the three forms of verb go go went gone repeat after me go went gone go went gone so these are the three verb forms of verb go do you know you can make another verb from from the same verb you can make ing verb form of the verb go by adding ing to the verb but we will we always add ing to v1 we always add ing to v1 so we will take go plus ing is equal to going eat plus ing becomes eating sleep plus ing becomes sleeping all right so i hope you can now make ing verb forms by simply adding ing to v1 by adding ing to v1 all right now let's start making sentences the verb for the day is go went gone and then there is ing verb form that we make by adding ing to v1 so it will become go becomes going go becomes going always remember when we are using ing we add it with the first verb form so now we will frame sentences so 
we will take helping verbs is am and are we will be making sentences on all of these all right so to form a sum sentence we always take subject first we always start with subject so let's say he he is going he is going where is he going let's say he is going to the market he is going to the market <coughs> he is going to the market <coughs> we know that we always use am with i we always use am with i so i am going to the market i am going to the market and r is used for plural r is used for plural so we can write they are going to the market they are going to the market <coughs> also we know that r is used for plural so let's make one more sentence ram and sharam are going to the market ram and sharam are going to the market and don't forget to put full stop at the end of the sentences so i hope you understand how to frame sentences with the help of a verb main verb and then helping verbs helping verbs always come before the main verb let's take another example now now we will learn another interesting word form second word we have is read do you know what are the three verb forms of read v1 v2 v3 read i have written the same words but how do we pronounce them read 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 verb forms three verb forms of read is read 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 speak after me read 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 and how do we make ing verb form of the same by simply adding ing to the v1 what is v1 read read so read plus ing becomes reading read plus ing becomes reading it does not becomes reading it becomes read plus ing becomes reading and the three verb forms of read is read 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 and how do we make ing form form of read by simply adding ing to the v1 read plus ing becomes reading read plus ing becomes reading that's all for today